Turf team, Professor on the Sticks. We got a weekend league. Actually, it's a head to head, my Super Bowl uh, game. But my opponent was top 50. I believe he had 23 wins, top 15 weekend league. I didn't know that until after the game because we were smack talking a little bit. Because I, okay, first and foremost, I hate when people say this guy's cheesy, cheesing the game or he's doing these cheese blitzes or doing whatever. But this is, this is legit what I consider cheese and a terrible player. And, I, I'm taking it upon myself to not allow these people to get top 100 ever again. I already put a tip video out on it, and I can't. I, I'm gonna sh- when you see the game, you're gonna see exactly what he's doing. I'm gonna show you exactly how to stop it. And don't allow these kids to get 23 wins. First off, this is the worst way to play Madden. Like, how do you get any enjoyment from it? And it's one thing for for a weekend league where you're trying to grind it out for all the rewards, but a head to head game like this, it cannot be fun. So I'm never one to to say this person's cheesy or, or whatnot and to, to stop it, which we do, but and and I completely stop it. Uh, but I, I I'm just I just don't want to see these players get top hundred in weekend league and think that they're tough and really think that they're tough. So so let, let's let's get into the game. Let's see what he's doing, and I'm going to show you once again exactly how to stop it. So this guy will never again ever get top hundred in Weekend League and think he's tough. Let's get in. Ready to dominate Weekend League? Head on over to MaddenTurf.com for all the eBooks, tips, memberships, everything you need to start heading on that road to top 100. Bang, bang. We're playing I Provide Stick. And, and feel free feel free to message him if you want, but I Provide Stick. 22 wins, top 60 or top 50, number 50, exactly number 50 in Weekend League this last week, right? And the only reason why I knew that was because after the game, talking a little smack, because his scheme is horrible. It's it's bad for Madden. It brings the gameplay. It's 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 just bad for Madden, right? You can blame the devs, but sometimes you also got to blame uh, blame the uh, the player as well. So as you can see, he has the Eric Dickerson. What is he going to run on offense? I mean, he's probably going to run the ball, right? Which I don't blame him. You got Dickerson, you probably got him lit up. Run the ball a little bit, no big deal. This is a head-to-head game, so it's not even a weekend league game. It is my Super Bowl, um, so I definitely want to win it. I want the rewards. I want, you know, I need it. Golden tickets are about to come out. So here we go. He's kicking off to me. He kicks off at the five-yard line, and we have Byron Jones, 99 overall, getting popped. So this is a great start, right? Just just great start. Uh, good, good job on him on getting his enforcers on the kickoff, putting them in the correct subs, and he is in the Wildcat. The glitchy wildcat, the the trips over, whatever it's called. There's there's a slot wildcat, and then there's the trips one. The trips one I think is a little tougher from the Carolina play or running gun playbook, I believe it is. So here we go. So he had Dickerson, then he subs him out because you only got what five plays with this Dickerson. EA's got to take that out. You think this guy's gonna pass on third down? Hell no. He's gonna run around the corner with Fournette for three yards, fourth and three. Uh, big stop there to keep it to a field goal. As you can see, he's also clocking it. He he's just holding it. I'm clearly not trying to block it. Uh, so that that's just a this just been a joyous start, amazing start, right? Um, so here he is. He's coming out, blitzing crib, sending eight. I don't blame him because the game is broken. The windups are horrible, and I really thought that that would have been uh, a one play touchdown there. So here we are, fourth and ten. He just has three deep blues on the field. So I'm, I'm putting three three people on a, on a, a route combo and pick play against the user, right? So let's let's replay that. I do a good job in the pocket, go to slide to the left to pick up the blitz. And as you can see, he has to use that curl route or the crossing route. He jumped off the crossing route to the curl route. And since I did a good job in the pocket picking up that blitz, Tory Holt to the Baja. I was able to get that first down, big first down, especially against these, these runners who don't know how to do anything, who are literally blind blind to get up in early in the game especially after the fumble and just a horrible start so uh that was a huge fourth down conversion really good execution on my part so here we go with leonard fournette around the side second and five so my my job right now i feel like is to never let these these just clowns Clowns! Look, he's got Dickerson back in the game because I've got to use him for five plays. It's a third down and six. I got to put him back. So we got seven yards there. Good job. There we go. Back to losing two yards. So it is my personal job. I feel like to not let 
these clowns ever get in the top 100, let alone the top 50 and win 22 games by not passing. And it's not even they're not passing. It's just it's just they're trying to they're just trying to glitch you out with these just just horrible runs because the game of Madden is so broken with pursuit angles and everything else, which I, y'all know about. I don't got to go on this huge rant about it, right? So, like, this guy is literally doing engage eight in Wildcat. We cannot let this be on our field. We cannot let this get top 100, let alone top 50. People really do suck at this game, and we need to not let these people suck and think that they're good. That is something we cannot allow. So here we go, moving the ball down the field. This guy sucks, right? He has no defense. He doesn't even know what to do. He doesn't make adjustments, but here we are in the game. So I'm putting a link in the description below of exactly how to stop this Wildcat because in this game, there's a bunch of different offenses, and there's different things to do against each offense to stop it. You can't just use one universal universal defense. You got strong close. You got eye tight. You got uh, wing flex. You got you got shotgun tight end offset. Shock, wait, tight offset tight end. You have gun bunch. You have split close. You have all ace twins. You have so many different formations people run. So you have to have a different defense for all of them. Congrats. You did a spin move. Got a lucky spin move to get that first down. You still are going to end up with negative yards this game. At least that's what I'm hoping. Because I really want to message him. You got negative yards this game. You really do suck. So here we go. Once again, second and 15. Another loss. Or he got one yard. Third and 14. We're going to run the ball again. We got Cribs. We got Fournette. We got Dickerson. All three stars lighting up. And we're going to punt the rock. So there's so many different ways that you have to. You can't just run one defense. That day and age is done. You have to have different defenses for all these different offenses. So. I have a tip video. It's in the description below. I mean, I'm also I'm going to put a card up there for you. Click that video. So when you do run into this, you don't lose to it. It's very easy to stop. It's 3-4 odd. So it's it's literally in, in your playbook. And if you don't have 3-4 odd in your playbook, you're doing something wrong. Like 100%. 100% if you don't have 3-4 odd. As you can see, the, the cover for quarters got a couple spies up there. So a couple other adjustments we do. Um, like I like to bring down the bring down the the safety on whenever he's going to motion that little jet pass to if he likes to run that uh, to bring that down blitz him I like the user of the backside guy once again we fumble Byron Jones is really laying egg for me so it, it's really easy to stop it doesn't take much but if you don't make the proper adjustments on it it's going to eat you alive for 500 rushing yards and don't let this eat you alive so be prepared be prepared even if you say you know I only play this once once every 20 games. That once every 20 games, you don't want to lose. And you don't want to get this guy ever to be in top 100 again. His name is I Provide Stick. He provides no stick. He has no stick. He has three abilities and, a, and, and, and a, just a, a prayer because the defense glitches out with the pursuit angles with the Wildcat. You have no stick. This kid, does this guy have stick? Let me know in the comment section below. Does he have stick or does he not? Also, make sure you leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and also to not let these bums... Get top 100 in a weekend league. It, it's it's really a pet peeve of mine. I am losing my mind by allowing these 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 guys to be a top 100 in weekend league. Here we go. Up 17-3. He has literally negative yards on offense. Good job. You finally got a first down. You just you finally got a first down. EA gave him three points with a kick a fumble on my kickoff. And here we go. Look at this. There's there's nothing there. There's three people there. Third down and eleven. Wildcat trips over from running gun playbook. I'm pretty sure that's the playbook he's in. And let's see. So he's going to motion the guy from left to right. So I want to be on this backside end. And boom, blown up. Negative yards. Now it's fourth down and 15, 17 and 3 with almost three minutes left in the fourth quarter. He hasn't gained a yard. He hasn't gained a yard. Be sure to watch that video. Leave a like on this video. Let me know what else would you want to see to, to, to stop on defense so you can get better and not allowing uh, players like I Provide Stick to be in the top 100. Because at the end of the day, people really do suck. Sorry for all the negativity this video. I don't think it was negativity. I think it's motivation to not allow these, these punks in the top 100. Go to MadtRiff.com to improve your game, get a more detailed breakdown. Check out the description for that tip, and we will see you on the sticks.